Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. And in this video, I'm gonna help you guys make some more money. And with this method, you guys can make a ton of money very quickly. And I mean a ton of money. I actually just got doing doing this, and I've increased my honor just a little bit, as you can see at the bottom, slowly becoming a little bit more honorable here in Red Dead Online. And uh, we're gonna be able to do a few different methods combined, but there's something that that I really want to be able to show you guys right now. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to do some hunting for like deer or just something along those lines. So let's head just a little bit west of Rhodes is kind of where we're currently located. There's Rhodes behind me and we're going to kind of go out and we're going to find some deer. We got some turkeys is chilling there, but we are specifically looking for a deer. Look at that. And just like that, we found, oh, not the guy. We want the deer there. And we don't care what the pelt is going to be like, but what we need to do is actually go to this location right by a Rhodes. I mean, it's literally not that far away from where we're at and not very far from where we're currently going. So let's go ahead and make our way over to this specific location real quick. Now, I am actually going to ignore the gang hideout, even though I really don't want to. It's very tempting. Very tempting indeed. But we don't really care. We got our own agenda to go on to, and we need to make some money here in Red Dead Online. So you have to kind of navigate through this chopped down forest area, which is pretty sweet, actually. And we're going to make our way over to this location right here. Now, once you arrive here at this location, you just need to, you know, get off of your horse and grab your fresh carcass deer. And you need to go down into this location right here. So we're going to kind of just make our way over this way. And we just need to kind of slowly get down into this area. So what you need to do is you need to approach right here. And you're actually going to walk straight towards these rocks that are actually on the ground. And then when you get to this location... You're going to look straight that way, and then you're going to go ahead and just dump the deer right there. Try to get its butt as close as you can to that rock, you know, right there, as close as possible. And what you're going to start to do see is that fish should start to spawn in this area. Sometimes you just got to give it just a little bit of time, and they are starting to spawn now. Now, I don't recommend that you guys take out your fishing rod because that will, will throw out or throw off some of the fish actually coming into the deer carcass. But you can see that we already have a couple, either smallmouth or largemouth bass coming in. And you're going to start to see a lot more fish are actually going to come very quickly. Now, you have to make sure that you place it pretty close to how I have it here. Because if you are off just a little bit, the fish actually won't come in. So you'll know within just a few seconds if the fish start coming in, then you know it's in the right spot. If they don't come in right away then you have to reposition your deer carcass in order to get this to work now the other thing about this specific location that you guys are going to, are going to want to keep in mind is the fact that so many fish can only be up on that ridge right there and once it gets full you will start to notice that other fish won't be able to get attracted to that carcass so when the fish stop flowing in that means you need to go and pick up the fish in order to do that. Now, I do want to give a shout out to a few of my stream members that actually told me about this location. And we're also going to start making quite a bit of money. So bluegills are only going to sell for like a dollar a piece. Rock bass, I believe, are 75 cents a piece. We got another pickerel coming in to kind of investigate. That means we're actually picking up fish, which is nice. Smallmouth bass go for about $2 a piece. We got more fish coming in. Ah, uh, don't turn away, fishy, fishy. No, you want to come. I know you want to come here. You you want to be added to my my pocketbook. I need the cash. I need the cash. As, as soon as you are done picking up all these fish, if there aren't really any more fish that are attracted to this carcass, all you need to do is put the carcass onto your horse and ride far enough away so you can't see it obviously on your mini map the horse here and we're gonna ride a little ways away now make sure that you guys are actually going this direction because if you guys actually head straight north you're gonna hit a body of water and you're not gonna be able to go any further and it's not gonna be far enough away so just so you guys know i know i need to feed my horse now you can see right here we actually have um 
a pelican. If we could actually peg that out of the sky, it's uh, actually right there by the beach. So I'm going to have to go and grab that because that's actually some extra money. Uh, there's uh, There's been a few times where I've actually gotten some brown pelicans in this area. And I've also got a few other things just from chilling all around here. And that's kind of some additional money that we could go ahead and make for our character. So again, we're just going to walk right up to these three rocks right here. Make sure that you're facing pretty much that direction and then just go ahead and put your on your carcass. Kind of getting that butt as close as you can to that rock right there is the pretty much the best location that I found. Now, there is no more fish spawning. At least I'm not really see any see any fish spawning. There's we go. We're just starting to get a couple. Now what we just need to do is make sure that they are attracted to the carcass and it looks like they are. And they are going to go ahead and start beaching themselves. And all you have to do is just keep rinse and repeating this entire process. Now, I am going to go over a few different things that you guys can do in this area in order to maximize your profit and your profitability from this specific route or method right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up on a map kind of different things that you guys can go ahead and do. Obviously, we got our pelican marked here. So up and down this entire coast here, you guys are going to find different exotic birds. You also have the Brightweight Manor, which uh, you guys can do the jewelry glitch and you can get a ton of jewelry and extra cash that way. And then if you guys want to add a little bit more money, you can come to this location right here and you're going to find a panther as well. You just ditch your current carcass. Now, I did start this method out pretty early in the morning. It was like 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning here in Red Dead Online. And you can start to see that more and more fish are already starting to spawn really close to this, but I do want to go get that carcass over there because getting a pel pelican carcass and getting its feathers is going to net me some good money. So I definitely want to be able to, to get that, but the fish just keep pouring in. That's just extra money for us. I mean, that's it. And we just have to sit here. So if you guys have something that you guys just need to do for, you know, like five minutes, not even just throw down this deer right here at this location, walk away, come back and you're going to make easy 20 bucks. With this location, this would probably be would be the best carcass fishing locations in the entire Red Dead Online. And right here, guys, we actually have some blue herons. We can just look up and we can get this nice extra cash here. Just easy peasy, lemon squeezy right there. Uh, I mean, just make sure you guys are looking up in this entire area. I literally just left our current location. And yeah, we're making... making Pretty, pretty good money already. So I'm just going to see if I can find myself a three-star heron here. And then I might replace the one. The pelican, actually, I already put on the horse that we had shot earlier from the second time that we went to that location. I'm just going to go ahead and skin this one because it's not a three-star. And then we got one more right there. And if it's not a three-star, then we can just pick that one up and put it on our horse because I'm not really going to be looking for any other exotic birds right at this present time because we need to go and get ourselves some jewelry i'm actually just going to go ahead and pick up this heron real quick and then what we're going to do is we're just going to add that to our horse real quick now you could uh i i decided to ditch the deer um i'm not really worried about making that few extra dollars from the deer it was only a one star deer anyway but you could definitely add the panther if that's something that you guys want to do in this specific location but anyway I'm just going to show you real quickly how to do this um, jewelry glitch so you guys can kind of see how it's done. Uh, you need to run into the house here. Now, there is a few different things and items that you guys can go ahead and pick up. But I have noticed that you guys need to make sure that you guys are picking up this brandy before this glitch will really truly work. And then there's another alcoholic beverage right here, which is the Gorma Rum. And then we can actually just head on upstairs. Now there is Kentucky bourbon in some of these other rooms, which is great for dead eye and other uses like that. But we just need to grab this jewelry right here. And then what we can do is we can just either run down the stairs or you can jump off this balcony. I guess it's kind of up to you Got what you guys would like to do. You're going to take a little bit of damage if you decide to, to jump off of it. It's a little bit quicker, not really. And then I'm just going to go ahead and run around my horse real quick. And then we're going to make our way back into the house. Our hearts have, uh, our health is almost completely recovered from that jump already. So that's not so bad. 
and then we should have the jewelry right there again. So you guys can do this until you get five jewelry of each kind, and you're going to get a platinum edition of some form of the jewelry, which sells for pretty good money at the fence. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this for a little bit longer just to add a little bit more money to our profit. All right, so I decided to come down and hunt the panther just real quick. And, of course, our uh, horse is throwing us off and bucking. Ooh, that was close. That was really close. All right, let's go ahead and skin this thing. It is only a two-star panther. I'm pretty sure that I got a clean shot on it, and I don't know for sure if it was a three-star or not. But still, a good panther is still going to make us a little extra money here in this route. So let's go ahead and grab this real quick. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to head back up to Rhodes. And we're going to sell this uh, these items at the butcher. And then we're going to head over to the fence and sell the, our jewelry that we had as well. So let's go ahead and pick this panther up. Put it on our horse. And time to make a significant amount of money. So we'll see you at the butcher here in just a moment. All right, everyone, welcome to the butcher here in Rhodes. And you can see we have a ton of items that we can go ahead and sell to the butcher right here. It is absolutely insane how many items that we actually have. So we're at 2325 for our money right now. So let's go ahead and sell all this and see what we get just from, from the butcher. So 2325 is the number that we need to go ahead and remember. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly just sell all this. I'm not really worried about how much we get for each one. I'm just gonna just kind of fly through this as quickly as possible. And then I do need to skin and pluck our other um, exotic bird that we didn't do before. And uh, look at that, We've already we're already up over 25 bucks and we haven't even sold everything yet and we haven't even sold the things to the or to the fence either this is quickly adding up look at this you guys i'm gonna go ahead and keep the big game meat because i actually want to cook some of that later so i'm gonna sell this one and then i'm gonna sell this and that and then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna break down that other um blue heron real quickly total real time it took me not even 20 minutes to do this and it all depends on how long or what areas you guys actually decide to skip and whatnot if you're doing this specific method. But just on the meat itself from the butcher, we made almost $75. Be a little bit more of an indication of how much money you guys can make using what exactly the things that I did here in this video for you guys. So let's go ahead and sell these items right here. And we're just going to, again, we're just going to quickly just sell all of them. And we're just going to sell these things. And then, yeah, there we go. So we made literally almost $100 in a 20-minute period, which means that you can easily make $300 an hour with this method, which there right now, there's not too many other methods that can actually do that unless you get really lucky with the, um, the sturgeon, the lake sturgeon down in Blackwater. And there's a few other methods as well. But anyway, that is all the time that I have in for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it or found it valuable in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.